Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect CG Dropshipping to Etsy in 2023. Of course, integrating CG Dropshipping with Etsy can be a game changer for your dropshipping business, allowing you to expand your reach to a whole new audience. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started and set up these integrations. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign in into your CG Dropshipping account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, it's going to be Brave Browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you may have. Once you open that browser, go to this URL section here, basically type cg drop shipping.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will be taken to their home screen or main screen. This is not the home screen, we just log out so you can see. As you can see, you'll find it like this. So go to the top right corner, click on sign in to sign in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, you'll have to click on register instead. For me, I'll click on sign in. And as you can see, I'll be able to sign in with my email or password or with WhatsApp, Facebook, Google, Shopify, Apple, if I don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in or creating my account. Once I do so, as you can see, I'll be taken to the home screen with my account connected. I'll have now to do the same with Etsy. Go open a new tab, simply type etsy.com, hit the enter button. I'll have to do the same as I said. So go to the top right corner for me, as you can see, I'm all logged in already. So you'll find the sign in option at the top right corner, click on it and sign in with your account. You can use Google here, Facebook, and Apple. And if you don't have an account, click on register instead, and you'll be able to do so. So as you can see, you'll find sign in here at the top right corner. So I'll just sign in with my Google account again. And here we are. So let's just wait. And as you can see, now I'm logged in into my accounts. As you can see, if I go to my shop manager, so there's my shop on Etsy, everything is cool. So I go to dropshipping now. Now go to the top right corner here again to your account name, go and click on accounts. Once you click on it, click on store authorization. So once you do so, as you can see, I'm already like connecting my store to a Shopify store. Of course, you can change the name of that store if you want. Like I'll just type here uh, Shopify. So Shopify. Just type my Shopify store. Okay. That's cool. Now I'll go to this list panel, scroll down, and I'll look for Etsy. As you can see, here is it. So go and click on that. And as you can see, you haven't authorized any store yet. Authorize your store to activate one click product listing in automatic order fulfillment. If you don't have a store on Etsy, click on here to create your store right now. And if you uh, have like a and it's stored connected to an old account of CG Dropshipping. Click on transfer record from here. You'll be able to do so as an example. So transfer the store or may not do so. So click on add store. And as you can see, the Etsy authorization is currently not available. You may use the Shopify app to manage the products and orders for the Etsy store and then authorize the Shopify store to CG. So please refer to this tutorial, of course, for further uh, details. You can click here and see what you want. So as you can see how to connect Etsy shop with CJ Dropshipping by Shopify app. It's very basic. First, you'll have to connect your store with Shopify. As I'm doing here, as you can see, my store is all to connect it. If you already like sign in, uh, register your account or sign in with Shopify, it's already like connects it automatically. If it's not, you can go to Shopify here, do the same with whatever you have. You'll have to click on add store. Oh, sorry. I just go, I don't know, to Wix maybe or something like that. Click on add store and you will have to authorize Shopify and you will have it here. Once you do so, now you can go to Shopify. As you can see, as they are saying here, so just go here. As you can see, as they are saying here, you'll have to connect Shopify store to CG Dropshipping, search and install its integration app from Shopify store. So go here to Shopify. Of course, I'll log into my account. And of course here, so once you are here, just go to apps here on the left panel, simply click on all accredited apps and Shopify app store here. And of course, and as you can see here, we'll have to look for Etsy. So go type Etsy, hit the enter button. As you can see, so search and install Etsy integration app from Shopify app store, as you can see. So 
for me, I already like connected the uh, CG drop shipping, so I will not have to look for that. Of course, I already like connected Shopify, so I don't have to do that. And of course, we need its integration sync DPL. We'll have to look for that. As you can see, here is it, or here is it, the same. So go and click on that. Click on install. And as they are saying here, so we'll have to install it uh, basically and authorize its shop on the Shopify app. And then click on connect. So basically, we'll do this install app first of all so we'll have to wait for the app until it's installed and of course i'll have to uh, choose order and inventory sync settings and check shopify partial fulfillment completes so basically just do what they are saying here as you can see so before that as you can see you will have to go and get one of their plans you can go and choose all those plans uh, the three plans which is paid you can start a free trial or you can choose this one for free as you can see but this one will not let you like real-time order fulfillment inventory price and sync and multiple like currency order supports personal skype uh, phone live chat supports and a lot of other stuff and you will have just some products on it see manage total on orders and inventory and price and sync so i'll just choose that for the moment because i don't need to pay for that it's fine so close this no i don't need support let's just choose this plan and now as you can see so Make sure, as they are seen here, just do the same. So confirm the installation, then authorize true order inventory and sync settings. So of course, enable both orders and inventory sync. That's what we need. Click on next. So here, if they said like we have to do something. So simply we'll have to follow the instructions as you can see. So you can choose whatever you want here as an example. So choose whatever suits you. So override something if you want to. So do whatever you want here and click on next. Connect your AC shop, click on connect. As you can see, configuration uh, updated. So yes, I'll just grant access here. And we will be good to go. Now this is connected to Shopify. Shopify connected to CG dropshipping. That means uh, Etsy is connected to CG dropshipping. Now I'll be able to up upload products to Etsy, import products to Shopify. Uh, manage orders, manage inventories, it's a products overview. So basically that's it, I guess. Yeah. So once you connect into your account, you'll be able to do whatever you want. As simple as that. Now, uh, of course, if I list something on CG dropshipping, it will be listed to show my Shopify store. I can upload that to Etsy. Or if I have something on Etsy, I can upload it to Shopify. And if it's uploaded to Shopify, it will be uploaded to CG dropshipping right away. As you can see, very simple. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. And if you reach this point of this video, of course, first of all, congratulations. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more helpful stories like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.